in terms of what's happening in Washington right now, the president made a very smart decision by agreeing to sign the legislation. He made a very bad decision by opening up the $2,000 personal checks because it's going to cause one hell of a nightmare for those two Republican senators, either vote against Donald Trump or vote against conservatives in their state. And third, the, the idea that they're going to Dalton, Georgia, tells you that they are still strategizing, that, that it's a smart decision. It's an hour and a half from Atlanta. Dalton is one of the most Republican areas of all of Georgia. To get a high turnout there can counterbalance what's happening in Atlanta and the suburbs of Atlanta. So I, I got to give them credit for making the right uh, uh, geographic choice. But the fact that the president's only gone down twice, frankly, he's playing golf in Florida. He ought to get on his helicopter, get on Air Force One, fly over to, uh, to Georgia, even unannounced, because the president still has impact. He still can turn out voters that would not vote for anybody else, and they're going to need him. Joe Biden's been down there. Uh, uh, Kamala Harris has been down there, that uh, the Democrats have raised more money than any two Senate Democrats in the history of American politics in the last two months. Donald Trump is needed in Georgia to ensure that those two states stay Republican. The, the choices for uh, Senator Perdue and, and Leffler on whether they back all of the president's uh, initiatives are, are, are kind of an interesting dynamic at, at play there. They certainly don't want to ostracize any of President Trump's biggest supporters down in Georgia. Uh, but, but they also, you know, there's a moderate uh, Republicans might think that they're enabling the president to take this too far. They, and they think that, that they should have wrapped this up already. So I, don't, I, I wouldn't know what, which way to go on a lot of this. It's a fine well, the American, quite strangely, because this is a big change from the last four years. The American people want to spend as much money as Washington can, but they actually support these stimulus packages by uh, 60 to 70 percent, including a narrow majority of Republicans, that they think it's better to spend the money now than it is to try to bail people out after they go bankrupt, that it's better to inject money into the economy and cut spending later. Of course, we know that under a Democratic administration, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to cut spending. And in fact, we just had to vote on the defense authorization, which is increasing money for defense. This is a fascinating time in American politics. Georgia is ground zero. And I agree with you. I don't know what I would recommend them do. I do know that a majority of Georgia voters would say vote yes for the $2,000. And I know that the, that the Wall Street Journal of Conservatives would go nuts over that. That's where the American people stand right now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.